have it in mind that loneliness can never be permanent in your life. You can never be lowly permanently. The solution will definitely come from our Creator, Jehovah, when you wholeheartedly seek Him for help. Welcome back again. If today is your first time coming across my video, you are welcome to Shrestal Love. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button over there and on the bell so that whenever I drop a new video, you will know that Shrestal Love have dropped another video again. Thanks a lot. Today video, we are going to be discussing about loneliness. Loneliness is what is affecting majority of the people that is living in the world today. Loneliness is affecting them. There are things that cause this loneliness that make people to be lowly. One of the things is that when you lost somebody in debt, maybe that person is the one that you always confide in, that this person, whatever, I tell this person, nobody is going to hear it. And at the time that you now lost this person in debt, you'll be lowly because you don't have anybody to discuss to. You don't have anybody to discuss with. That was the only friend that you have, that you express yourself to, that you can freely pour your mind to that. Look at what is happening to me. When you lost that person, it's very hard to cope again. So we even be depressed because of what happened. Some kids, they are lonely. Because their parents is not there for them to express themselves to what they are passing through, what is happening to them, how they are feeling, how they are not feeling. Their parents is not there for them to express their self to. And it will result to loneliness. That is why you will see some kids, they lock themselves inside. They hardly talk to anyone. They are not depressed because of what is happening to them. They hardly say it out. They only tell people what is happening. They would rather die in silence than to tell people what they are passing through. Some divorce can also result in loneliness. Divorce make one to be lonely. When you are not a single mom or you are a single dad, taking care of all the responsibility alone, at times you will feel tired. You will be lonely. Because somebody is not there for you to talk to. Somebody is not there to tell you, do things like this. When you do it like this, it's going to work out fine. When you do it like that, it's not going to work out. Look at the result that is going to come out from it. All those things will make people to be lonely. Since loneliness is taking place, you are experiencing it. You are lonely. You are dying, dying in silence. There are things you have to do in order for you to be able to deal with this loneliness. We know it's not easy. It's not easy to come out from it. It's a very difficult thing for you to be able to come out of that thing that is called loneliness. It's not easy at all. But you have to make it easy for yourself. Because this loneliness is resulting to many things. Some will even take their life because they are lonely. Because they are so lonely to the extent that they don't think of any good in their life again. All they think of is to commit suicide. We need to help ourselves. When you see that you are lonely, you have to deal with it. How are you going to deal with it? Speak out. Speak out to people. Tell them what you are passing through. They might be of help. They said a problem shared is problem half solved. When you are sharing your problem to people, mind the person you are going to tell your problem to. Mind the person. Because some people, they will just be there to listen to you. When they are out of your sight, what they are going to be saying is quite different. So you need to know the person you are going to talk to. 
you are going to confide on. You need to know the person before you can express yourself. You need to speak out. Let people know so that they will find solution. Because when you are dying in silence, at the end, all the thoughts that will be coming in is negative thoughts. Positive thoughts will never come in again. In that place, Satan will not have a place. It will take a place in your life because you don't talk to people. You don't know who is going to be of help to you. If you are a child that is passing through all the sins, loneliness can take place even if you are a married person, you are a child, you are single, you are not yet married, you are divorced. Loneliness can take place. It doesn't mean you are perfect. You cannot be lowly. No, it's not possible. It's not. So you have to speak to people. Speak to mature people. Let them be able to find solution to your problems, to what you are passing through. It's only when you speak hard. That is when people will know what is happening to you. When you did speak out, they are not God. They are not. They don't know what you are passing through. They will think that everything is well. That you are okay. Hey, whereas you are not. You are dying inside. They are not God. They can't see what you are passing through. It's only when you talk to them. That is when they will be able to know. And they will find solutions to it. When, I'm, when I said you should talk to my shop people. My short people doesn't mean by age. That's okay because this one uh, is my younger one. I can't talk to him or I can't talk to her. I need to talk to grown-up people that is older than me. That's not the maturity I'm talking about. Your younger one can be mature in brain, in the way he think. In his reasoning, is so mature to the extent that the other one that you think they will find solution to you they will not be able to find solution in the way that your younger one is going to find solution. We have some mature ones that are young. And we also have elderly ones that are also mature upstairs. So you have to take your time and talk to people what you are passing through. And most especially when you are lowly. Because this loneliness is a thing that somebody has to fight. You have to deal with it. So that it will not break you down. The most special thing that you have to do. Is for you to talk to God in prayer. Pour him all your heart. Talk to him. With all your heart. Tell him what you are feeling. Tell him what you are passing through. Tell him how you want solution. Tell him how seriously. You really want to solve the problem that you are passing through. When you talk to God in prayer, God will definitely answer you. If he didn't answer you in that moment that you call on him, he will definitely answer you. Have it in mind, you are not the only one that is calling on God. Everybody on this earth, we are all calling on God. So if you didn't see answer immediately, Never think that God has turned his back on you. God never turned his back on us. He's there. He's watching. He knows what we are passing through. That is why he said when we call on him, he will definitely find solution to our problem. And he will solve it for us. Provided we call on him wholeheartedly. When we do that, our God will never forsake us. He will help us out. In that lowly state that we are. It will find solution. And you also have to talk to your parents. As a child, you also have to talk to your parents what you are passing through. Not all the time you close the door. You want to stay alone. When you know that everything is not right with you. It's not all the time. When the thing is getting out of hand, call your parents. Talk to him. Talk to your parents. Let them know what is happening to you. Let them create time for you so that you can freely express yourself to them. When you did speak to them, 
they will not know what you are passing through. You have to speak out. Talk to God in prayer. Everything will be well solved. If not immediately, but definitely it will solve. Have it in mind that your loneliness will never remain permanently. It will definitely change. It will solve. Change for good for you. So my darling people, my amazing people, I really do appreciate you guys. This is the brief thing I said I should discuss with you people today. And for my returning subscribers, I'm saying a big thank you to you all. You all are really amazing. I really do appreciate you guys. You all are lovely and wonderful. Thanks for your nice comments, for giving me that like. I really appreciate you guys. For my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. I appreciate your like, your comments, and you sharing me out. I really appreciate it. And please do not leave your sister. Keep sharing me out. Let people watch the video. Thanks a lot. I will see you some other time. That is why I'm going to say right now. That is why I'm saying right now. You all are hug so, 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 so amazing. You all are wonderful. Bye, goodbye, goodbye to everyone. So much love from tries to love to you are.